Hi there and welcome to this day in history for April 17th. April 17th is the 107th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 108th in leap years with 258 days remaining to the end of the year. April 17th is Flag Day in American Samoa. Now you've got Samoa which is its own country and American Samoa which is a U.S. territory and we'll talk more in depth about American Samoa later in the year on a date significant to its becoming a U.S. territory, American Samoa. Today's word is rend. Rend is a verb that means to remove from place by violence or to split or tear apart or in pieces by violence. An example sentence might be, in the heat of battle, the warrior's sword could rend through armor as if it were paper or to tear like hair or clothing as a sign of despair, grief, or anger. There are quite a few examples of the word rend in use of the Bible, particularly in the Old Testament, and looking over them, it's easy to see that generally speaking, the word rend is used in the context of tearing, ripping, splitting, or dividing. Indeed, another definition for rend is to divide into contesting factions. For example, the emotional turmoil was enough to rend even the strongest friendships. As we've already alluded, rend may mean to perform an act of tearing or splitting or to become torn or split, as in the fierce storm winds threatened to rend the sails from the ship's mast. Past tense forms of the word rend may be rent or rended, as in he rent the cloth to shreds, or the earthquake rended the once sturdy bridge. When you hear the term heart rending, is this rend? The word comes to us from Middle English, Old English before that. First known use of the word rend is sometime around or prior to the 1100s. Rend. Today's word rend was requested by YouTube viewer Teresa Ramsire at T. Ramsire. Thanks, Teresa. This was sort of a two-part request, and we'll look at the other part of that request tomorrow. That said, if you have a word you'd like us to examine, drop it in the comments. We'll take a look at it. And with that, and the state of Virginia was working on a decision as to whether to remain in the Union or secede. And on April 17, 1861, Virginia's Secession Convention voted to secede from the United States, later becoming the eighth state to join the Confederate States of America. More than on... Did you really? Okay, hold on. I forgot to tell it, do not disturb. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do that one again. The Ellis Island Immigration Center processed 11,747 people on April 17, 1907, more than on any other day. This is the birthday of Czech pianist, composer, and record producer Jan Hummer, born April 17, 1948, in Prague, Czechoslovakia. He began to gain notice when he played keyboards with the Mahavishnu Orchestra during the early 1970s, and then he was also doing film scores for television and movies. I first heard of Jan Hammer in the days of the TV show Miami Vice in the 1980s. He wrote and performed the Miami Vice theme and Crockett's theme for that show. Since then, he's collaborated with such influential musicians as Jeff Beck, Mick Jagger, and Carlos Santana, just to name a few. And he's composed and produced over a dozen movie soundtracks in addition to his work on Miami Vice, other TV series, documentaries, and station identifications. This Grammy award-winning artist has issued some 30 albums of his own, over a dozen singles, and at least 50 credits as a sideman with other artists in addition to the work mentioned before. Still alive and still working, Jan Hammer turned 76 in 2024. Happy birthday, Jan Hammer. On April 17, 2014, NASA's Kepler Space Telescope confirmed the discovery of the first Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone of another star. The Kepler Space Telescope, by the way, was launched in 2009 with a planned mission of three and a half years, but it lasted nine years and seven months. It was finally deactivated in November of 2018. Mm -hmm. We started making these episodes toward the end of 2019, if you can believe it. <laughs> 
I'll go grab a link from an episode from a previous year for April 17th and leave it in the description for you in case you'd like to see that. It had to have been quite a feather in the cap of Jan Hammer to be signed on for scoring the music for 80s TV series Miami Vice. I imagine it was more than a full-time job composing, performing, and orchestrating on a weekly basis. But if you were a regular viewer of the series, you might agree that the music fit perfectly with what was happening on screen. The Miami Vice soundtrack album was released in November of 1985, just, just after the beginning of the second season, and quickly hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 Top Pop album chart and achieved quadruple platinum status with U.S. sales of more than four million copies. Pretty sure I had a CD of that album, too. I've included links to Miami Vice theme and also to Crockett's theme. Check them out, both for the listen and also for the look at the padded shoulders so many of us wore in the 80s. <laughs> Miami Vice theme by Jan Hammer. Links in the description. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page. It's called No Really. <laughs> You can also find me on Rumble, a bit shoot, and Odyssey. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. This is the birthday. I didn't get that. Could you try again? I wasn't talking to you. And from the Life is What Happens When You Make Other Plans department. <laughs> oh, where's your microphone? Oh, get your microphone. <laughs> what is it with you and this microphone? Okay, here we go. Maybe we can get a little camera back up there again. Right there. Little bitty tiny camera. Make it small. Right there. <laughs> You're here with me live this morning as I stumble through. <laughs> I thought I was ready to go, and my apologies for the for the hiccups and the baubles. <laughs> See, that's all stuff that gets edited out in the edited versions. <laughs> well, I have a lot to edit today. Cacophony is a sound. <laughs> Cacophony is a noun that you got to read it the right way. Don't alienate people who can be helpful to you. Flinging happiness all over the place. All right, back to work. I think we got it this time. <laughs>